<laughs> Perfect, Dawa. You love to talk. Hello. Hey, wh how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. My you? socialist, commie, Muslim friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, uh, dog. I would, I would like to say that uh, <clears throat> um, you are quite a rational atheist uh, because I had a debate with uh, Matt Dillahunty on MDD, mm -hmm. and then uh, I was trying to, you know, give him, uh, you know, facts that why God exists. And then um, later, uh, another time on his channel, <clears throat> I called in and I wanted what make him to believe that God exists. I gave him a, an example of if I split the moon, do you believe that God exists? He even rejected that. And, um, you know, um, I, when, when you say that uh, your wet napkins, if I light up that one, yeah, that, uh, you know, it, I mean, f he was saying that uh, there are a thousand possibilities if you split the moon and... Uh, for you, just a wet napkin is enough. But, well, okay, for him, but let me explain to you why Matt and I are different. Matt, yeah. Matt is a stubborn guy mm -hmm. who I think when Christians and Muslims alike say that he feels bitter towards God, I think they're, or the concept of God, they're telling the truth. Like They're right. I don't have this type of bitterness and hatred. Like if God, God exists, I'm not going to be mad about it. I think mm -hmm. a guy like Matt would be. And so I am honest in saying if I see something amazing that sure it, there's a small, small chance it can be explained naturally, but if it looks like supernatural, smells like supernatural, and it walks like supernatural, it's probably supernatural, whatever you know that means. It's not natural, okay? And mm -hmm. um, But Matt doesn't, he's not willing to go there. No, no, exactly. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, many of his followers... Uh, they uh, were writing on my channel that, um, yeah, uh, there are millions of possibilities, as he was saying as well, uh, that uh, how, for example, I was saying even, okay, moon splitting is not enough. How about if I bring a galaxy close to our galaxy? <laughs> you know, they even rejected that one. And they were saying that, uh, no, it doesn't uh, prove that God exists. But uh, wh what I wanted to do was that, if you believe that God exists, okay, if I uh, perform that miracle that you wish, okay, that you expect, mm -hmm. uh, what will be your next step? My next step would be, like, it depends. You're saying for Islam or Christianity? I mean, you, you know that God exists, okay? Let's say that you believe, okay, God exists. What would be your next step? Because you... My next step would be, like, in the case of the napkin, I often, with Christians, will say, pray in the name of Jesus... Okay. And if it lights on fire. Now, if you were to pray in the name of Allah and it doesn't light on fire, I'd say, well, maybe the Christianity thing is true and not the Islam thing. So then I would now investigate Christianity, uh, even though I came from it, and try to determine what version of Christianity makes is probably the most correct. And then you worship, and then you worship uh, Jesus? No, no, that's, that's another step. Another step is, okay, I believe it's true. Now, is it worthy to be worshipped? Okay. But if God doesn't need you to worship him, he just wants you to follow his commands, like love one another, yeah. love your neighbor as you love yourself. And in Islam says, give charities, you know, take care of orphans, uh, you know, help needies and so on. If God just asks you to do this, would you do those without even believing in God? I probably already do. Yes. You yeah. probably already do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. I don't, except for I don't pray five times a day. Or no, no, no. A uh, direction, okay. but yes. I understand. Yes, but the thing is that, uh, according my understanding, okay, and according my belief, God only wants us to do good deeds, and that's all. The, those others, like praying and other things, are you know extra. It doesn't mean that, uh, for example, many Muslims say, "Oh, if you don't believe, you go to hell," or even Christians say that if you don't believe, you go to hell. That's absolutely wrong, according to my understanding. As long as you are a good person and you do good deeds uh, you know, in this life, perfect, Dawa. You're basically a secular humanist um, atheist, and you just <laughs> and you just put the God label on to help explain things. No, no, because I have, you know, because I have read a lot of good 
uh, you know, uh, commands in Quran and that God says there that all mankind, it doesn't say Muslims, it say all mankind, the best of you. In so the you sight still of believe Allah, that the Quran was written by God? Yes, yes, I believe that he... Okay, uh, so, so you, then you're not an atheist, you're... you're no, no, but, I, I believe that it was written by God yeah. and, uh, you know, transferred to Prophet Muhammad. And there it says that the best of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. So it is not about Muslim and non-Muslim. Yeah, all I understand mankind, all this, all I, mankind. I, but, but you do understand guys like me don't believe the Quran has anything to do with a God, right? I yep. understand, yeah. yeah. But as long as you do good deeds, I have said it many times to uh, other people, as long as you do good deeds, you are saved. You know, he just wants you. And he even says that if you avoid major bad deeds, I forgive your minor bad deeds. So even your minor bad deeds will be, you know, uh, uh, forgiven by God. So because he's the most merciful and forgiving. And I don't I'd rather like be this. forgiven for uh, to people who I actually offend and trespass. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's uh, definitely possible because God yeah. knows that people make mistakes. Okay, yeah. but just avoid, uh, you know, major bad. Per things. Perfect Allah, I like you, Thank I you. really do, but you, you. you tend to preach a little bit too much. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. but it was a great conversation. Yeah, Have a great you. day. Thank you, my brother. Take care. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I think most people are like me in the sense that um, if you see something amazing, if you're sitting in here in the live stream chat and you call yourself a naturalist, I think you're more like me than Matt Dillahunty. I think if you saw someone you know, you know personally who's been dead for years come back to life in the name of Allah, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Ganesh, you're going to walk away from that experience and it's verified. Like, they're alive. The DNA matches up with the records from five years ago. P other people see it. Like, there's no question. This person came back from the dead in the name and the incantation of a certain God, and it worked. Your whole worldview is going to be shattered that day. And I think I can only say that it's some type of weird, sick stubbornness. that would say, uh, it was aliens. Could it be aliens? Yes. But now all I'm saying is your confidence in what we call not natural would go up. And your confidence in naturalism, everything's natural, would go down. That's very reasonable to say.